Hi everybody, welcome to this month's Myth of the Month. This month, we'll be looking at stories about Anansi the Spider. Anansi is a well-known character from African folklore originating in Ghana. Anansi is a clever trickster, using his wit to outsmart bigger and stronger creatures. Here are just a few of Anansi's tales. Why Anansi Has Skinny Legs Anansi's wife was an excellent cook, but Anansi loved to taste the cooking of others in the village. One day, around lunchtime, Anansi went for a walk. He stopped by to visit his friend, Rabbit. He smelled the greens Rabbit was cooking for lunch and asked if he could join. Rabbit said lunch wasn't quite ready yet, but Anansi was welcome to stay. Anansi knew that if he stayed and waited for the greens to finish cooking, Rabbit would surely ask him to do chores. And Anansi certainly didn't want to do that. He made up an excuse about having work to do, but offered a suggestion. Anansi would spin a web. He would tie one end around the cooking pot and one to his own leg. When the greens were ready, Rabbit could tug on the web and Anansi would hurry back. Rabbit thought this was a great idea and agreed to do so. Anansi continued on his walk when he smelled beans cooking. It was his friend Monkey who was also preparing lunch. Monkey invited Anansi in, asking if he wanted to stay for lunch, which wasn't quite ready yet. Anansi very much wanted to try those beans, but he knew that Monkey, too, would ask him to do chores while they wait. Once again, Anansi said how terribly busy he was and suggested tying a web from the pot to his leg and Monkey could give it a tug when the beans were ready. Monkey thought this was a good plan and tied the web to the cooking pot. Anansi resumed his walk once again and soon smelled sweet potatoes coming from Hogg's house. And so Anansi continued that afternoon. Before long, he had webs tied to all eight of his legs, all connected to a different friend's cooking pot. While he was thinking about how clever he was and how much good food he was going to be trying soon, he felt a tug from one of the webs. It was Rabbit's. Anansi started towards Rabbit's house when he felt another tug, this time from Monkey's web. Then he felt another tug on a different leg, then another and another, until all eight of Anansi's legs pulled in all different directions at once. Anansi dragged himself to the river and jumped in, washing away the webs from all of his legs. When he crawled back to shore, he found all of his legs had been stretched thin. And worst of all, he didn't even get to eat lunch that day. Anansi and Turtle Anansi had grown some incredible yams in his garden, so he picked them and carefully cooked them for dinner. They smelled amazing, and just as Anansi sat down to eat, someone knocked on the door. It was Turtle. He had been traveling for a long time and was very tired and very hungry. He mentioned how good the yams smelled and asked if he could join Anansi for dinner. Anansi couldn't say no, but he really didn't want to share, so he quickly came up with a plan. He invited Turtle in. As they sat at the table, Anansi pointed out that Turtle's hands were dirty and asked that he wash them before eating. Turtle slowly crawled out of the house and down to the river to wash his hands. Anansi began quickly eating the yams. When Turtle returned and sat back down at the table, Anansi pointed out that his hands had gotten dirty from the walk back. Turtle would need to go wash them again. So Turtle did as he was asked and took care to walk back in the grass so that his hands would not get dirty again. By the time Turtle got back, Anansi had finished off the yams. Turtle was not happy, but he thanked Anansi for his time and invited the spider to his home for a meal sometime. Some time passed and Anansi thought about the invitation. He knew Turtle was a great cook and he was excited at the thought of a good meal. He went to the river bank where Turtle lived and waited. Turtle soon spotted him and asked Anansi to join him for dinner. Anansi happily agreed and Turtle dove down to his underwater home to wait. Anansi could see the fine meal waiting for him on Turtle's table at the bottom of the river. He couldn't wait to try it. He eagerly jumped into the river, but he was so small and light that he immediately floated back up to the water's surface. He tried diving, he tried swimming with all his might, but he just couldn't stay under the water. Then he had a brilliant idea. He filled the pockets of his jacket with rocks and stones and sure enough, the spider sank to the bottom of the river. He sat down at Turtle's table admiring the fancy meal in front of him. He was about to dig in when Turtle stopped him. Turtle reminded Anansi that it was bad manners to wear a jacket at the dinner table. 
not wanting to be rude to his host, Anansi took off his coat and immediately found himself floating back to the water's surface. Anansi knew he had been outsmarted and headed home, and Turtle had a lovely dinner. Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom While Anansi was very clever, he knew he was not particularly wise. He decided that he needed to gather up all the wisdom he could. Then, surely, he would be the wisest being in the whole wide world. He went on a long journey, gathering wisdom from all over and collecting it in a clay pot. When the pot overflowed, Anansi sealed it up, pleased with how much wisdom he now possessed. This, however, led to a new problem. What if someone tried to steal all of his wisdom? Anansi couldn't have that, so he looked around for a safe place to hide the pot. He came to a giant tree and decided it would be a great hiding place. The pot was too big to carry by itself, so Anansi spun some webbing and tied the pot to his stomach. He tried to climb the tree, but the pot kept getting in the way of his legs, causing him to slide back down. Eventually, Anansi's youngest son wandered by, stopping to watch his father's antics. After a while, he asked Anansi what he was doing. Anansi explained that he was trying to climb the tree. His son asked if it would be easier to climb the tree with the pot tied to his back instead of his front. Anansi tried his son's suggestion and it worked. He made it to the top of the tree with no problems. But when he got to the top, Anansi realized something. He had more wisdom than anyone else in the whole wide world, but his son had just proved himself to be even more wise. Anansi was so frustrated by this realization that he dropped the pot, which shattered to pieces when it hit the ground. The wind blew, sending the wisdom Anansi had collected all across the land to be shared among everyone. Thank you for joining us for this month's Myth, Myth of the Month, and we will see you next time.